where does that 50 foot obstacle come from? Cause I've never seen an airport that has a 50 foot obstacle at the end of the runway, right? I've, I've seen airports that have 50 foot obstacles nearby, but not at the very end. Like imagine a tree growing out of the threshold of the runway. That's 50 feet tall. There's no way the FAA would allow that, right? They would go down and they cut down the tree. Um, I've never seen a 50 foot obstacle on the end of a paved runway, but we still talk about it all the time. And, so I asked the question, especially my CFIs, why do we have a 50 foot obstacle? And the answer is pretty interesting, I think. And it, it, it kind of reminds me of this TERPS criteria, this obstacle clearance surface that we just talked about with the 200 feet per nautical mile. So what I have here is a picture of a runway with the thousand foot markers and, and a, a set of pappies next to it. And the pappies say that we're on glide slope. And we know that most pappies or vazies aim us at a three degree glide slope, right? Well, we can take a lesson from from math class back in high school and we can do a little bit of math because now what we have is enough to define a triangle right we have a three degree angle at one end of our triangle we have the the bottom part of the triangle which is a thousand feet and then the other angle of the triangle is 90 degrees so we can use that math and we can actually figure out what is the height of that triangle and interestingly if you plug all this in it's going to be really close to 50 feet in this case it's 52 feet with the three degree glide slope with a thousand feet down the runway, it's 52 feet. So the 50 foot obstacle is actually a function of the three degree glide slope and the location of the thousand foot markers or, or where the pappies are on the runway. Now this 50 foot obstacle in theory is going to change from airport to airport, 